This experimental 6x6 off-road all-terrain vehicle was developed in 1962 at the Moscow Likachek plant. For use in complete off-road conditions in unfavorable climatic conditions and was called ZIL-16070. This unique giant all-terrain vehicle was created for the development of remote regions of Siberia. The basis of the all-terrain vehicle was a frame on which a light fiber glass body was installed. Despite the impressive dimensions, the curb weight of the ZIL-167 was 12 tons, and the carrying capacity was 5 tons. The 4-seater cabin and the 14-seater passenger compartment were heated by two heaters. The front and rear wheels were swivel, they had an independent torsion bar suspension. The middle axle did not have a suspension, but was simply rigidly attached to the frame with brackets. The tire pressure was adjusted from the driver's seat. The super all-terrain vehicle was powered by two 8-cylinder engines of 180 horsepower each. Each of the engine was connected to its own automatic transmission connected to the wheels of one side. The huge wheels had a diameter of 1790 mm, while fiberglass and metal parts were used in their design. These wheels weighed almost three times less than their metal counterparts. The ground clearance of the car was 850 tomb, the bottom was covered with steel sheets to protect the units and better slide on snow and mud. The fuel system included 6 tanks with a total capacity of 900 liters. On the highway, the reached speeds of up to 75 km per hour. Fuel consumption was up to 100 liters per 100 km. Among other things, a winch with a pulling force of 7 tons was installed on the machine. At the end of the tests which ended in 1965, it was noted that the experienced all-terrain vehicle showed the maximum mobility and cross-country characteristics possible for a wheeled vehicle. However, the ZIL released in a single copy never went into production. At the present time, it has been restored and is located in the Military Technical Museum near Moscow.